Hey up, you beautiful buggers. How the devil are we all doing? It's, well, actually, let's take a look at what self-depriving name it is this week. Mm-hmm. Yep, testicles need grooming. Uh, how did you know, Raker? Anyhow, guys, enough of that. Welcome to this week's Top 5 Camp Competition. As ever, we've got some simply, simply lovely builds to show you. So enough knobbing around, let's get into it. Coming in at number 5 this week, we have Lady H with the Everything Camp. Yep, that's right, this camp literally does have, well, everything. The clues in the bloody name. I I I'm sorry for that mild outburst. Anyhow. What Lady H's media, Mon Petit Fleurs, is quite an intelligent camp, actually, especially if you're, you know, resource and crafting conscious. It literally has everything you'd need to survive in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. We have a resource extractor, we have food supplies knocking around everywhere, mm-hmm, simply, simply lovely. And you know what, I think there's at least one of every single kind of crafting bench in there, so yeah, you're perfectly catered for making bullets or cooking a meal, it's fantastic. The camp itself is really nice too. Obviously, it's very immersive. As Moonlight Cowboy says, it looks like a little settlement, kind of. Aye, especially with the NPCs wandering around. Well, I say they're NPCs. They could actually be real people. I, I, I'm not too sure. Anyhow, it doesn't matter, does it? The point is, it looks like a settlement. I'm also loving all the little details as well. The walkways, for example, they're really cleverly put together, and it's not something that you, you know, may notice immediately. Ah, you've done a fantastic job with the decoration on this, I must say, Lady H. It's got quite a unique purpose behind it, and the way that it's built is absolutely spot on, especially the decor. You've nailed that one. Lady H as ever, thank you very much for entering this week, and congratulations on the number five spot. Fantastic work. Now, just before we go any further, I want to make you guys aware that your judge this week is Moonlight Cowboy. Yeah. He's done a bloody good job at judging this time round. So if you could go over to his channel, show him some love, I'm sure it would be much appreciated. The link's down in the description. Anyhow, on to the number four spot. And this week, it goes to Silver underscore underscore Bunny with the Lake House. And guys, this is a really nice looking build, I'm not going to lie to you. Now, obviously, I know modern houses aren't for everybody. You know, I see that enough in the bloody comments. However, you can't deny, the work that goes into them is pretty, you know, intense. Much like myself. Anyhow. My favourite part of this is the foundations that it's built on. I absolutely love how you've done that. It looks really, really smart, to be honest. This, guys, is a perfect example of how effective underpinnings can be. It really does change the look of a build. And it really doesn't take that much to do them, either. It takes a little bit more time, of course. But, like I say, it, it really does transform a camp. Go on, give it a try in your next build. You know you want to. As well as the foundations, the house itself is also really nicely put together. It's quite simple, we do have some overhanging roofs, which requires, you know, a little bit of jiggery-porkery and bending the game's building mechanics to your will, but again, it gives a nice overall effect, and for that little bit of extra graph you gotta put in, it's definitely worth it. Right then, so on to the interior. And what have we got here? Well, for a kickoff, we've got an absolutely brilliant looking kitchen. And Moonlight Cowboy was equally as impressed with this as well. And you know what? Yeah, the rest of the house ain't half bad either. Top marks on the interior decor, Bonnie. Now, the only criticism that Moonlight had of this was the fact that you had a little bit of budget left to do a bit more decorating on the boat. However, that really doesn't take away from the camp at all. You've done a truly wonderful job on this one. Thank you very much for entering this week, and congratulations on the number four spot. Very well deserved. Now, in the number three spot, we have my personal favourite for this week, and it's Greengrass 28G with the Temple of Nuclear Winter. And all I'm going to say is, wow, this is absolutely stunning and extremely unique as well. Aye, I, I really, really do like this one. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the walkway leading up to the temple itself, and that is absolutely beautifully done. Player-made bridges are always fun to look at in 76, and this one, yeah, it's top-notch. Really is up there with some of the nicest that I've seen. Very simple, very elegant, but nonetheless still quite difficult to pull off. Anyhow, let's take a look at the temple itself. Mm-hmm, aye. That is bloody incredible. You know what? I'm getting Rome Total War vibes off it. I don't know why, but it just looks like one of the temples you'd see in that game. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Nope, of course you don't, but that's fine. Greengrass, it really is a work of art, and your masochism levels must have been off the chart. I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. I I I'm sorry. 
This thing genuinely looks like an actual temple, and I love how you've used the columns. You don't see many people using them at all. And personally, I think they go perfectly with the roof pieces you've used as well. It's like a, a match made in heaven. Get it? Heaven? Temples? Uh, uh, anyway. Greengrass, thank you very much for entering this week. Like I said, this was my personal favourite out of all of them. Congratulations on the number three spot. Very well done indeed. Hats off to you, Mieta. Right then, guys, it's the time in the video where I try and convince you to join the Funny Farm, aka my Discord. Now then, there is a very good reason why I'm asking you to do this. If you think your camp could be featured in a top 5 competition, then the Discord is the only way to submit it. If you look in the description of this video, you will see a link to said Discord, and in there, you can submit your camps. And who knows, you could be in next week's top 5. So, if you think you got what it takes, come on over, submit your camp, and yeah, you never know. Anyhow, back to this week's top five, and in the number two spot this week, we have Reasonable Madness with the Little Forest Home. Let's take a look at it. Wow, this is this is absolutely gorgeous. Just the lighting from this initial shot. Yeah, that, that looks really good, that does. And what Discord? I can hear you bleeping in the background, but I'm busy. The first thing that stands out to me is the shape of this thing. It's actually quite simple, but we do have some cool overhanging roofs, which is always a nice buddy touch. And I'm not going to lie to you, any time that I see a slopey boy used in this fashion, yeah, you get 10 TNG points from me. That's a lovely little shape, that is. Reek then, if you've ever seen any of Madness's... Madness's... Madness's builds before, you'll know that she is absolutely incredible at decorating. So let's take a walk through the keyhole of this one and see what she's come up with. Mm hmm Yeah, that is outstanding. Simply outstanding. Just take a look at that kitchen. I love how you've got the mushrooms merged into it on like some form of chopping board. That, yeah, that is really nice work, that is. Guys, it's little details at that that make a camp feel a bit more lived in, a little bit more real. Does that make any sense? Ah, of course it does. The same can be said for that little storage shelf there as well. Now, Madness actually did a tutorial on how to make one of them, so I would urge you to go over to her channel and take a look at that. If it's your kind of thing, she does a fantastic explanation of how to actually make it. So yeah, I would highly recommend. Madness, I'm in love with this build. It's very small, it's very cosy, and the way you've decorated is, oh, chef's kiss. I mean, come on, just just look at that little flower arrangement going down at the side there. Y yeah, th this is really next level decorating here. Anyhow, enough blowing smoke up Madness's ass. Thank you very much for entering this week, my friend. You have done a fantastic job on this one. The build, the decorating, yeah, it it's absolutely beautiful. Congratulations on the number two spot this week. Very well deserved indeed. Right then, so who has made it into the number one spot this week? As you can see, there's been some absolutely stellar entries, but there can only be one winner. Unfortunately though, I'm going to have to keep you waiting for just a little bit longer. Because it's time for the honourable mention section. Yes, and again, this week we've got two. And the first one this week comes from Jawa 4 with this bloody immersive as hell looking camp right here. Now first things first. Props on using the ash heap for your camp location. Not a lot of people do it. It's an hard place to build because it just looks, well, shit. But these kind of builds fit in with it absolutely perfectly. Joe, my friend, you've absolutely nailed it. It's scrappy. It's law friendly. And like I said, it's immersive as hell. This is the kind of thing you would expect to find in a wasteland. And I bloody love it. Absolutely awesome work with this one, pal. Thank you very much for entering this week. And congratulations on the honourable mention. Now, the second honourable mention this week goes to Valkyrie 790 AD with the Earthy Dollhouse. And I love the principle behind this one. These kind of builds are always really cool. At one point, you could see these all over any public server. They were really popular. But for some reason these days, you just don't see them anymore. Valkyrie, I really like what you've done with this one, pal. I think the little flower wall you've got going down there is my favourite bit. But the old build is pretty damn cool. Thank you very much for entering this week, mate, and congratulations on the honourable mention. Very well deserved indeed. Right then, so back to the number one spot. And like I said before, who do you think it could be? Well, I'm not going to keep you waiting for any longer. 
This week's winner is Alex P with the 70s style villa. And I swear to God, if I don't see mirrors on the ceiling of this buddy thing, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Right, okay then. So the exterior of this is obviously quite striking. It's just screaming disco balls and unprotected sex. And I, I do like that. Not, not in that way. Don't twist me words. You've obviously put a hell of a lot of work into this. And it really does show. This this design is, yeah, it <laughs> pretty bloody spectacular. Uh, yeah, this this is cool, this. For a kickoff, guys, we've got some mad shit going on with the roof levels, and we've also got overhanging roofs, which we've already established I do indeed like. And as well as that, we've got some mad shapes going on as well. Th like I say, this thing has had some serious time put into it, and it is not an easy build, let me tell you. If I was to rate this on the masochism scale, I'd be giving it a 10 out of 10, easily. I would not attempt. I do, however, think that the Pierre's du Resistance is this entryway here. Now, are these called fascia walls? I don't know. To me, they just look like funky walls. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling the 70s. The interior is just as cool as the outside as well. I mean, just take a look at it. I don't really have to say anything, do I? I could just walk away from the mic. Alex, you've smashed this, pal. You really have stepped up your game for this one. The filming, absolutely spot on. The camp itself incredible every single room in this buddy build is just expertly done and like i said the exterior yeah that it doesn't need any explaining does it just just look at it all in all alex you are more than worthy of the number one spot this week thank you very much for entering absolutely stunning work on this one pal keep it up buddy and that is it from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody who's entered this week. Keep doing what you're doing. You're keeping the building community alive. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. The extra support is much appreciated. If that's anything that you guys are interested in, the link's down in the description, as well as links to all my socials as well. Anyhow, as we say it north, I love you and leave you, and I'll catch you at next one. Have fun, everybody.